In this video, we'll look at how simple it is to keep your private key secure when using Nano. Just today, Ledger announced Nano support for the Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. And you can begin using this with the Nano Vault wallet. And this guide that I'll be going through comes right from the Nano Vault blog. So to start, we wanna make sure we have the Nano app installed on our Ledger. You can use the Ledger Manager software that's accessible from the Ledger website. So when you open that up and you uh, plug in your ledger, uh, you'll be asked for your pin code for your device and you can put that in. And there we go. Now, something to keep in mind is a firmware update may be required, which means you might need to uninstall the existing apps from your device, update that firmware, and then reinstall the apps that you have. Uh, similarly, the Ledger device can only hold a certain number of apps based on its available memory. And because of this, you may need to remove an existing app, maybe that you're not using as much, to make room for the Nano app. So note that the keys on your device still exist within your Ledger. So if you deleted an app and you need to access your funds at a later time, you can always just reinstall that app for that specific coin. But now you'll see that uh, if I scroll down here, we have some new options for Nano, and you can just go ahead and click that install button. And during this process, you may be asked to confirm a few prompts on your device. And once the application's been installed, you'll see a new Nano logo on your device, and you're ready to begin using a Ledger supported Nano wallet. In this case, we'll be using nanovault.io. So let's go on the nanovault.io uh, website. Now, if you're not sure uh, if you already have a Nano Vault account and you're logged in, maybe you see some funds there and you don't want to, you know, you're not sure if you kept your seed or you backed it up properly, back it up later. But in the meantime, what you could do to make sure you don't accidentally log out and can't log back into your old uh, funds again is you can just simply open up a new incognito window in your browser or you can use a different browser to manage this. So now if I go to nanovault.io, there's no other account that I'm going to be overwriting when I try this out. Of course, you'll want to go back to that other account, make sure you have everything backed up, and maybe you'll even be uh, sending everything over to this Ledger account anyway. So now to set up your Ledger on NanoVault, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is go to the Import an Existing Wallet button. And you'll see we have a couple options here for the import type, one of them at the very end being Ledger Nano S. All I'm going to do is click that, and you'll see we have this Ledger device not connected. So we have a message here that we just need to connect our device and make sure that the Nano app is installed and open. Actually, if you get that locked message, uh, one of the things that I was having trouble with is I still had my, um, my Ledger Wallet Manager open. So you want to make sure that's closed, and then you might just need to refresh the page uh, reselect the import type again, make sure your wallet's opened up, and you should see this Ledger device ready. So now I can just go ahead and hit import from Ledger, and you'll be given your address, your balance, uh, and you'll get this wallet configured message as well. And I can just click right into view accounts. So what I want to do is I want to test this out with a transaction. I'm going to send myself some Nano, and we'll see what the steps to uh, receive Nano are. So I just sent that over. And we should be getting that any second now. There we go. And you'll see we have this waiting for confirmation on Ledger device. So to pocket these transactions, what you're going to get is a little notification window that just says receive Nano. And you can accept, confirm the block. And there we go. So it should say successfully received Nano. And that's it. So you can see it's very, very simple to use. So now I can close out this window, uh, unplug my Nano, and then, you know, in a day from now, uh, play around with my funds a little bit more. I can just plug my Nano in, go to nanovault.io, uh, re go to that import existing wallet, select the ledger, uh, and I'm back into my account settings.